Hey guys, Thomas the Soda Jr. here, aka Mustache Time, and welcome back to some more Deltarune. Last time we dealt with some puzzles, but we're getting higher in the throne. Hey, there's Lancer. Father! Answer, my son. Have you dispatched the lightners as I commanded? No, b but I did even better. It turns out we don't actually have to fight them. They said they would just talk to you and... They're alive? Fix my recording here. Ooh. There you go. Yes, and I think you'll like them a lot. There's Susie. She's very purple and strong, and. Where are they now? Um. Hey. It's nice to meet you. Lancer. Lancer, my son. I yes, Father? Do you remember what I told you? D don't get too attached? You have failed. They have poisoned you with your sentimentality. Free yourself, Lancer. They care not for you. Their only goal is to destroy our glorious fountain. They are scum. No, they're not. What did you say? Let him go. <laughs> you want me to let him go? Then how about this? I'll drop him off the edge and let him splatter. Unless you all kneel and learn your place. What will it be? Lightners. D don't listen to him, Susie. He'll... He'll... Now watch, Lancer. See what happens when you befriend Lightners. W what the... You... You traitor! Come back here! Alright. Enough already. Who the hell do you think you are? <laughs> to my people, I am a hero. To you, I am the bad guy. Silence, Lightbringer. Your very existence goes against our own. By the King's will, I shall shatter your heart to pieces. Your will is changing. Talk becomes courage. How dare you come here, Lightners? reason with the king. Alright, listen up. Lancer's my friend. So if we can get by without hurting you then... If I perish, so be it. Show my son the monster you really are. Alright, you wanna see what I can do, huh? Susie's will is changing. Talk became Red Buster. You, that left us in the shadows stripped of meaning.
You might not realize it, but this is a world where you don't have to fight. I know if we try it, we can all find another way. Such simple-minded platitudes. A shame you will not live to realize your naivete. Now perish with the pathetic lighteners you worship. Sorry, my friends and I aren't going anywhere. Elsa's will is changing. Talk became dual heel. How dare you turn the torment to once again. Gone, we have found a fresh purpose. Night that pulls the fountains from the earth. Holy fountains with whose shadows are creating a new world. Our world. See now your new purpose. Soon, the soil shall be blanketed in darkness. And darkness shall rule it! Then, you may see what it is like to live in despair. Now enough talk. Fall before just ch the chain of justice. Huh. 
You're quite strong, aren't you? fighting you like this then it seems that Ugh. Oh no. My knight, I shall not fail you. Enough is enough. I see. I see that I cannot defeat you. I have grown exhausted from our long battle. Lightners, I... Perhaps I... I have been too cruel. The, tr the truth is, I was not always this way. There once was a time where darkners and lightners lived in harmony. A time where darkness could fulfill purpose and peace. It would be a lie to say that I, too, do not yearn for those days. Perhaps, perhaps you young ones are right. Please, let us put our weapons away. There must be a peaceful solution to all this. Come on, Susie. Oh, come now, Susie. I'm glad you're starting to realize, Mr. King. None of us really want to fight. If you can just tell us about your worries, I'm sure we can all be friends, Mr. King. Y yes, friends. That sounds lovely. <laughs> My apologies. I am... I'm not used to fighting like that. My body is getting weak. Oh, don't say another word. There, you should be all healed up. How do you feel? L let's see. Never better. I you! Did I say you could get up? Chris! Oh, spare me the heroics! You. You're the leader, aren't you? So what's your plan? To laugh as you cast us all back into obscurity. You can't even say. Young one, let me tell you a secret. Quiet people piss me off. Hey, get away from my friend. <laughs> or what? You'll kill me? Nah. So what's your plan then? To talk me to death? You stupid, stupid lightner. You'll honestly think you have any way to convince me not to kill you. Nah. But they might. Lancer! The, everyone! What is the meaning of this? Sorry, Dad. You're being overthrown. 
When I told everyone you were fighting the Lightners, everyone remembered how kind they were. They decided they'd rather have a king that accepts them. Me! Now I'm the dad. You idiots! The Lightners are your enemies! Fools! I'll kill you! I'll kill all of you! Yikes! I think someone needs a timeout! Go to your room, Dad! No! Alright, Chris. Chris! Susie! Oh, you're alright! Yeah. I'll take more than that. It'll take more than that to get. to take us down. Chris, Susie, I'm. so. I'm sorry. Because I healed the king, we almost. We almost. Susie, you were right. I. I was foolish to think we could act so soft to everyone. This isn't a world where kindness always wins, is it? It's complicated. Yeah, sometimes there's people you just gotta fight. But you never know. But you never let your guard down then. It might just hurt someone you care about. Aw, oh, Susie. You're beginning to sound like a real hero. <laughs> Don't get used to it. Then I... I suppose you and Chris should return him home now. Yeah, I... I guess that's right, huh? Well, uh... See ya. Huh? Chris, you wanna... Go say goodbye to everyone, don't you? <laughs> well, if you're gonna make me... I guess we can go back for a bit. Let's go. Chris, Susie, you came back? Um, well, Chris just wanted to say bye, you know. Oh, actually, everyone wanted to say goodbye too. Please let me know when you want to leave, alright? Yeah, yeah, we'll try to skip you. Not to skip you. Oh, I'm not gonna, I'm not actually not gonna go through all that. I know you can talk to everyone, but... Come on, let's at least say goodbye to Lancer. Oh. Forced to say goodbye, got it. Way to go, kids. Now we can go back to making puzzles we love. Oh, and thanks for your donation. I could buy a new hat and some shaving cream. Best. You're the best. Honestly, we owe you. Even a little ball could say something like, thank you. Thank you. I can go back to being a coat hanger now. By the by, I seemed to come here, but there wasn't any interest. You're absolutely amazing. Break, bark. Darn, horsey, you've done us a big help. Now all lost pieces can live in pieces. You did it. You ousted by you. That rotten tyrant. I'll have to accept the bounty and of credit to my contributions, unless the king re reappears, in which case I did nothing. Wonderful worky, my amigo, sir. Thou hast toppest the tyrant, freedest our creedest. Truth, history shall not forget. The tailor rocks his card in the three heroes. I knew you could do it. Though I was your enemy, I was cheering for you. That's how much I disliked my job. The future looks sweet, like a pile of bee peaks, which is honey, I think. A kingdom with so much hope. Hope you didn't screw it up. That means thank you. Come to our next bee day, too. We'll have someone soon, if that's possible. Hathi looks at you proudly. Kiss. What's going on? I slept through everything. Whoa! What about us? Aren't we going to be restored as kings? Uh, my treasure is unharmed. Carry on, then. Us animals decided it's okay if the kings stay in the cages as well. But they'll have to put on animal ears and noses. 
Mamma Mia, what's a celebration? Everyone's here. This must be a birthday party. I must that cake for Clover's birth. Such a sweet occasion. I might cry. Uh, actually, this whole thing is like our fault. Oh, Moon Amiga, then you're Clover's mother. Now I understand why you ate the cake. To protect her. Huh? Wait. No, I... Wait, if I go along with this, can I get more cake? I'll be honest, at first we didn't sure who to make our new king. I mean, Lance has always been a bit of a pain. But after seeing how nice he treats us, got you guys, I think he'll be fine. Susie, blue person whose name I neglected to learn all along. I thought you were going home a ways. We were, but Chris wanted to say bye, you know. Oh, really? Ha ha ha! That's funny. I thought you wanted to say bye because you're friends. Ha! <laughs> I mean, I didn't want... I didn't not want to. Um, so you're the king now, huh? Yes, and I'm changing some big rules. First, lightners are now legal. Second, prison is now for only... Uh, prison is now only for dads. Sounds like some pretty good changes. Hey, your dad was protecting the fountain, right? Is it gonna be okay if we mess with it? I have no idea. But if you guys... But if it's you guys, so it's you... I trust you. If something bad happens, we'll fix it. We'll fix it out. Yeah, guess we'll just see you, I guess. Um, well, see you later. Come back soon. There's always room for town for a couple of clowns. Clover's mother, please sample my cakes anytime. Do I have to be Clover's mom to do that? Yes, that's my ob arbitrary rule. Alright, we talked to the necessary group. Chris, Susie, are you leaving? Hell if I know. I'm just following Chris. Guess we'll just walk it to the right if we are. Susie, Chris, are you going to leave? Oh my. I just wanted to say I... I... I really enjoyed meeting you two and... Hey, can you stop mumbling into your hat for a sec? I can barely hear you, dude. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, Chris, Susie, I... I hope I can see you again soon. Next time I'll make lots of yummy cakes, alright? Ugh. Um, yeah. Sure, dude. <laughs> Let's go, Chris. Is this the fountain? Don't know how, but it feels like we stumbled into something really important, didn't we? Well, there's no time to think about it that now. Right now, it's time to go home. Right, Chris? As you stood in front of the fountain, you felt something strange. It was as if your very soul was glowing. And it shall be risen? see anything. Hey, watch it. Huh? The underused classroom. How'd we get here? 
Hey Chris, what, what just happened? Like, that wasn't a dream or anything, was it? Anyway, as I was saying, let's just tell I, Alfie's we couldn't find any chalk. It's a checkerboard. There are pawns strewn to it. It's a worn, done, stuffed animal. Playing cards spill out of the deck in the closet. The door is locked. Man, the sun's already setting. Everyone else must have gone home by now. Guess Alphys is no better than to ask us next time, huh? Well, guess we should go. See you later, I guess. Chris? Let's go back tomorrow, all right? The door is locked. The door is locked. Some kind of primitive sculpture, who knows what it represents. The throne of the gods. It's a primitive drawing of your mom. It's a computer. It's a desktop wallpaper and it's you and your brother dressed up for Halloween eight years ago. Ring ring. K Chris. Whatever have you been doing? I sat in the car waiting for you after school for half an hour. I called and called, but you never picked up. You had your poor mother worried sick. Chris, I'm afraid I'm going to have to punish you. Huh? A friend? You are spending time with a friend? Chris, I will make an exception this time. You can continue adventures a little longer, but when you return home... You're going to have to be go to bed early. See you soon, honey. Click. Play Barbie. Chris, what's up? Caddy's working hard. Working, so I'm starting out a project. I've already copied a bunch of pictures. It's... Same picture of a soccer ball 73 times. Gotta go to Kalik so Tim to be hard. She's reading a comic full of hot demon guys. There's an anime review, read it. Yes. Teens Corner Monthly Tune Reviews, Mew Mew Kissy Cutie 2. This reviewer has Kit Mew Mew Kissy Cutie Mew Mew 2 as her first exposure to the series. And let her tell you it makes Mew Mew 1 look like a dumpster with sparkly cat ears, with a dark storyline and more mature themes. The second one treats the viewer like a real adult, instead of like an animal that will die if it goes 10 seconds without seeing a ball, beach ball. Not to mention Mew Mew's character in the first one, it's more stale. Than the ramen I ate at my at home myself with the lights off. Teens and older sh older sh should uh, check out this dark masterpiece. Sign the anonymous yellow lizard. I love reading books, especially the books upstairs. You should really read them. I look through the window to the computer lab. There seems to be a dog inside working at a computer. Seems like it's making a game. Seems like you shouldn't interrupt it. Seems like when the game's finished, you can go in. You should have the ch to trust the dog. Ah, uh, Toby Fox. Chris! You survived Susie! I was getting worried. Now you can finally pay off your family debt. How to draw dragons is 
2,583 days overdue. However, Chris, I am an beloved volunteer assistant. If you turn it in this week, I'll reduce your fine to a mere $64.23. Consider it, Chris. The mayor's charisma is about zero. Nope, it's negative. But she works hard and has to work to her track record so she's unopposed. That's politics, rarely. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The mayor's busy right now. If you need to see her, please try causing some terrible crisis. Hey, sort stuff. Why would you possibly need to talk to the mayor? Your allowance too low? Ate too much candies? Lost your frisbee in the wash? Hey, short stuff. That's what the cops are for. Chris, what a pleasant surprise to see you here. And on a school day. There must be a reason for you to come at such a time. I, Father Alvin, implore you to have anything weighing on your hand. Please speak. Chris, if you want some of our fruit, our sick fruit juice, you should come to our service. Our choir sounds a bit thinner since your brother went away. Chris, it wouldn't be, would it be wonderful if you would sing with us, or even participated to any extent, instead of just trying to drink the fruit juice. Do 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 do. It's locked. Okay. Show you a karaoke microphone for a brave singer. Well, Mutler, a big bone for the leader of the pack. Crystal, a snowy gemstone for a proud mother. Gerson, renowned historian, author, and teacher. Gerson Boom Memorial Bench. Throughout my career, some of my best ideas came from dreams. Take a rest here. If anyone asks, you're writing. Alrighty. Hey, punk! Get out of the road! You're blocking traffic. Oh wait, it's just Asgore's kid. Sorry, I was a little, uh, worked up lately. This job is so boring, nothing ever happens in this town. Ugh, I just wish something would shake things up. Huh? You got something to report? What? There's a dark world inside the school? Uh, sure, kid. There's no law against dark worlds anyway. That's a job for the school board. Ah, oh, you want to help me? Sure, punk. Get someone to rob a bank so I can suplex them. Wait, do we even have a bank? Hey, get someone to build a bank. Alfies? Who's Alfies? No idea who you're talking about. Why? Did they do something illegal? Gotcha. If I see Alfies, I'll tackle them. <laughs> They're all as good as dead. Oh, it's you. Are you here to play the piano again? The patients can't hear it well from here, but I personally enjoy it. It's an ob obligatory hospital piano shrunk to fit in the corner. As a result, it's missing most of the good keys. Play it. Plank. <laughs> Dad, I can't just say that to her. 
Oh my god, I died. I'd literally die. Noel, sweetheart, first time I laid eyes on your mother, I walked right up to her, she said it was an up to her, and I told her she was hot piece of work. Uh, really? Yeah, she slapped me so hard I blocked out. <laughs> Dad, this doesn't help at all. Anyhow, your Hell's Dragon Blazers 3, beat it yet? Nah, I'm still at the Ice Palace. I've been kind of... kind of waiting to finish it with you, Dad. Noel, Maybe... maybe you shouldn't wait. D dad You should bring it here! I'm bored as hell! Ha ha ha! Fine, you win. I'll bring it next time. Oh, it's getting late. Guess I better go. I've got homework. No. That's the group project voice. Bird guy again? What's his name? Nerdly. It's, um, Birdly. He's not that bad, Dad. I'll kick his ass. <laughs> Dad, you're not even supposed to get up. Bring him to the window. I'll throw something at him. Goodbye, Dad. Bye, honey. Oh, hi, Chris. Well, jingle my gosh darn bells. Looks like Christmas came early. All right, Chris, just give me, you just give me the straight shot. What? Why are you here? Did Mom make you come here? Really? You've grown up a lot, Chris. I'm proud of you. Wasn't too long ago you were just that creepy kid next door. Now you're that creepy kid in front of me. <laughs> okay, okay, seriously. You want to chat or something? Chris, even if we've grown apart, we're still love- we still love your family. After all, me and Asgore were college pals, right? Oh hey, now that Ezra is off to college, you think he's doing any crazy parties like your- like me and your dad? <laughs> I'm still pulling- I'm just pulling your leg. Your dad was no party animal. Your mother, on the other hand, whoo wee She'd always fuss about going, but once that party started, yikes, man. Once she hit me clear across the room with a key lime pie, I got smashed into the snack table and popped a toppled everything. Tasty pie, though. Couldn't complain. So, why am I in here? Well, they found some crap. So it's just some test. Yeah, it's no big deal. Nothing a holiday can't handle. I'll be out of here in a jiff. Then I can go back to, I don't know, yelling at you for getting tangled in our light display. She's a sweetheart, isn't she, Chris? Smart, kind, sweet, couldn't ask for a better daughter. I just wish she wasn't so defenseless. Scary movies, bugs, Santa Claus, everything scares her. And when it happens, she freezes like a deer in the headlights. Remember, she used to be afraid of humans under the bed. Chris, it was not nice of you to hide under there, by the way. Anyhow, that's what tough, that's what's tough about being in here, Chris. Not knowing what's going, going on with me. Just that, in the meantime, I can't be there to protect her. Keep an eye on her, on her for, okay? <laughs> Knocked on the door to the police station. Someone's coming up to the window. They just close the blinds. Who's walking around? How are you, kid? Yeah, it's real nice, isn't it? Especially considering I've never seen you before. 
Name's Sans. Sans the Skeleton. I'm new in town. What's up? We just moved here, so I hardly know anyone. Why? Got anyone I should know better? Whoa there, Tiger. You can't just jump straight to friendship. It takes time. Alright, that's enough time. Take this. Call it whenever you feel like. You got Sans's number. What's up? We just moved here, blah blah blah. Your mother, huh? Too late. I already befriended your mom last night. She's great. Came to the store to buy chocolate kisses. She said she's gonna lock her door to stop you from eating them. <laughs> you sound like the fun kid, huh? Alfie's? Yeah, I know about her. Came into the store with a suitcase and sunglasses. Thought she was part of the mob. She opened the case and stuff and full of instant noodles. Paid in small bills. And slunk out of the pace. Pajamas trailing on the floor. Anyway, relationship is uh, purely business. So uh, I guess I'll just let her do her thing. Behind me? Yeah, that's the grocery store. Unfortunately, it's closed. What a pain. I really wanted to buy some milk. Someone ought to complain to the guy who runs it. Hey, bud. Are you busy tomorrow? I need some help with something. It'd be great if you could come over. I just, I'll, I just live next door, you know? Yeah. Wow. You were deliberating for a while. Gee, what's wrong? You don't want to hang out with a stranger? Well, I guess I shouldn't complain. Huh? What are we gonna be doing here? No, oh, I'm not going to be, to be there. That'd be weird. It's just gonna be you and my little brother. He needs friends. Thanks for hanging with him. See ya. No response, but the distant trouble of bones. Are uh, the human that lives at the top town? Wow, my mommy told me about you. Does it hurt to be made of blood? Huh? That sounds like the knock of a beginner. Come back when you've gotten better at knocking. Yo, Chris! You survived Susie! Ha <laughs> ha! I mean, I never saw her beat anyone up, but uh, I'd be careful. Like that one time Snowy and Jo- Jockington were playing handball, and she just kept creepily watching us from the corner. Then, when the ball rolled over to her, she just uh, froze solid and kicked the ball as hard as she could right into uh, Officer Undyne's car. Then Undyne came out smiling, cracked her knuckles, and totally wiped us at handball. Anyway, Susie sucks, Chris. Ha <laughs> ha! Whoo! You're lucky, Chris. You got to miss class with Alfie's. It's not fair. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, if I skipped class, my dad would never hit, let me hear the end of it. <laughs> That's actually not even remotely funny. Uh, oh, Chris! Chris, you're okay! I, I was really worried when you didn't come back. Where did you go? Did you skip class? Well, d don't worry about it. I'm the coolest teacher, you know. You're not in trouble. Well, let me know if you need anything. Uh, oh, Chris! Did you want to talk about something? Oh, this saucer of milk? It's for my kitty Mew Mew. She's a perfect angel. Huh? What does she look like? Well, I've never actually seen her, but... Ever since I started putting out milk, it's been disappearing. S so I'd like to think that there's a cat. M my cat. Chris, even though you never got the chalk, you deserve an award for trying so hard to find it. So, in return, I can let you borrow, um, my homemade DVD collection of sim of the symptoms. You know, the sitcom about the middle-class monster family? So it's got 
every episode in all 28 seasons. It's the funniest, most quotable show ever. But make sure you don't watch the past set. They all started driving their own and fighting against giant demons. The main problem about the budget lost the focus family and went in their vehicles were shaped like animals and they were friends of like an animal and the, uh, the galaxy when the Simpsons got into Earth on the other side wouldn't care and Graviton's feel, huh? You don't want to watch it? That's okay, Chris. Oh! The, they're flowers? They're from your dad. <laughs> He always asks how you're doing in school, then gives me a bouquet of them. And actually, they're always... That he always gives flowers it really makes me wonder if he... If he likes... If he... If he likes... The awesome comics that I lent him. Honestly, he kind of reminds me of superhero Chris. He's huge and could kick my ass. So for you two girls, that'll be cripes and cinnamon tape, late two bun part fits and a piece of firewood. I like to vibe out the waitress here, waitresses here. Maybe I should sign up too. Nah, serving drinks wouldn't really suit my fire element. If I got nervous, I'll just melt all the ice. Ice Wolf does not like ice and drink. Ice Wolf likes ice to be drink. Dude, remember when we used to skip the first hour of class to come here? You were fine, but I almost had to repeat the year because of it. Those creeps were mad worth it, though. Delinquency is the best condiment. Looking at my rugged body, you must wonder what kind of secrets I hold. My secret is I put all my leftover pancakes in this giant hat. Hi there. Haven't seen you in a while, hon. I remember back on Sundays after service, you and your family would come in the order and order the special. Of course, things happened and then y'all stopped coming together. But every Sunday, you and your brother would still come in. He'd order you a hot chocolate, and you two sit down at that table in the corner, drawing shapes in the window with your breath. You must really miss him, hon. Here, how about this? You got a hot chocolate. On the house, hon. You're alive. Nice. I'm working. Uh, we'll take the special. Do you have any edible glitter? The youngest one won't eat anything if it doesn't look like treasure. <laughs> Ice me up! Ice me up, boss! Entrance was locked. Would you be interested in trying some of our twenty or many twenty-four hours? We got normal, cheese, ice, gravy, double ice, pepperonis, and more. Stop Donna Icy's Pizza. Oh God! Someone's actually here. Uh, Icy's Pizza, your number one spot for piping up pizza, pizza, pizza. <laughs> hey, wait a second. I recognize you. Little buddy, it's me. Want to chat for a minute before I lose my mind? Do you know what, as he's coming home? You, you can't tell this, but I really miss the guy. He'd be sweet cruise around town like old times. Picking up, for example, chicks. Which, as a matter of course, may not ever actually have happened. But... One time Andai made eye contact with me while well, she was writing me in a speeding ticket. Ah oh, yes, little buddy, good idea. Meet the rogues gallery. Bluey or soft serve obsessed no concept of personal space. Keeps accidentally pouring slushies on me giggling. The wander the warrior thankfully absent due to pizza related injuries. Constantly terrorizing customers with chance. Purple guy, man, that guy, you gotta... Actually, does that guy even work here? 
Ah, oh, my co-workers, what would I do without them? A happy place, little buddy. A much happier place. Make no mistake, little buddy. I see these pizzas, hell. I can't slack off for seconds without hearing. Be a team player, there's no I in pizza. Yes, there is. You just gotta take, you just took it out. But it's okay, little buddy. I've been saving up to go to college where as he is. Then I'll get the theater degree to become famous actor. And the fangirls roll in, little buddy. you were here. It's me. You know me, right? Of course you do. I'm real popular. I'm just don't have any friends. But it's okay you're here because you're here. Will you be my friend? Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm so happy you're here. I'm so happy. I, I, I don't know what to do. I don't remember being this happy before. What's your name, friend? Chris, that's you. That's a real nice name for a friend. Oh, excuse me, I forgot to introduce myself. Actually, since no one talks to me, I forgot my own name. Chris, can you give me a name? Hmm, it's perfect, you hear? I know what it means, but it's perfect. Hmm, feels like it's shaped like me. Feels like it smells like me. Wait, what was the name? Uh, Hanyam? Yeah, it's perfect. Hanyam, that's my name. Thank you for giving my name. I'll cherish it, you hear? G Christmas, that's your name, right? I want to tell you something tomorrow. Something I can only tell a friend. Come back soon, you hear? True. Nothing better than hanging at the lake with your best bro. Watching the waves go by. As your dad's truck, the floor of the front seat is littered with old papers and stuff. Dum -dum -dum. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I almost finished watering the flowers. Here we are. Howdy, how can I? Oh, Chris. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot if you don't like hugs like that. Well now, make yourself at home, Chris. You can help yourself to anything you like. Oh, Chris, before you go. Here, for your mother, our secret. Have a great day, Chris. It's green flower, protected in a container. It's a small TV on top of a superhero comics. It's locked. Yes, these flowers are still kicking. Quite hard to take care of all them in this element. Scion. Golden flower. Mmm. Yellow flower.
Say, Chris, I was thinking. Perhaps when Azrael comes home, we could all go to the diner, just like old times. My treat. Doesn't that sound yummy? Knock knock. I'm afraid no one's home right now, darling. Now why don't you prance on home? Chrissy, long time no see. What's up? Did you want to talk about something? Remember that time we wanted to hang out with the big kids? I was like, yeah, of course, just get some burgers. Then, like, amazingly, you actually got them. Like, so I told you to go back and get some french fries too. Then a dozen miniature cakes. They were so good, I ate like six. Then, like, then I, like, suddenly got so sick, I had to go home. Man. So, like, anyway, Chris, are you busy? Ugh, a chick Nick door drives me nuts. I keep seeing her everywhere I go. She's a totally cop -a cat Like, why though? Doesn't she, like, realize she'll never be me? Honestly, her whole family is, like, so trashy. Once her sister served me a coffee and I swear it was half cut fur. Like, get a hairnet girl, like, for your whole body. Oh, that's no way to talk to your almost sister-in-law. Nah, I'm joking, but like... Remember that time I played Truth or Dare with Azzy? I like made him give me a f his first kiss. Then your mom found he- Oh, he kissed someone and... Like, I think he totally basically dialed 911. I swear your family went to church like every single day that week. Hey, neighbor. Neighbor. What's been bothering, Doug? Gonna come by. <laughs> My girls love to see him. He's a sweet little man. He's just one problem. He doesn't like my wife's cooking. What's wrong, Douglas? You don't like frozen cat food? <laughs> I forgot how to do the Douglas, that guy's voice. It's been so long. Like, Cressy, like, what's up? Give Aunt Kitty a hug. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> I'm not even actually your aunt. My, oh my god, I... Can, can I talk about... To you about something? Actually, like, anything though? Your choice. Like, that green girl next door? Oh my god, Chrissy. She's like my life villain. Like, the other day, I went to see Cat Petters 2, and the only other person in the theater was her. Then I was, I went to QC's and ordered a cappuccino, and she like was already drinking one. She's such a copycat. Ugh, copy gator, copy saurus, copy dial. I don't know. She sucks. Oh my god, Azio! Like what a cutie pie. Do you remember when him and I, we went to that dance? That was, like, the best night ever. Even though, like, I spilled the entire punch bowl all over him and danced inappropriately in front of your mom and got arrested in the parking lot for making a scene. Ha ha ha. That was so much fun. Tell him inside. Hi. Ooh, how's Caddy doing? I have no idea. We, like, totally can't connect at all. Yesterday I asked if she wanted to hear me play the ukulele. She said no, and then she like told me, My playing is anti-blessing from planet hell. What the heck, Chrissy? That's so cute. I love freaking my freaked up little sis. Oh, hi Chris. Did you help? Did you need help with your homework again? I know you were having trouble last time, so I am... I actually got a few things ready for you in case... Uh, wait, sorry, I can't right now. I forgot my house key again, and... Sorry, Chris, I'll help you later if that's okay. See you at home. See you at school, Chris. Um, Chris, did you want to talk about something? Huh? 
Why don't I ask my mom for the key? I... I mean, um... I know. She doesn't like it when I bother her when she's working. Don't worry, okay? I'll just go over caddies. Um, Chris, are you feeling alright? Normally we're not so- you're not so talkative. Oh, I don't mean to sound like something's wrong with you. Um, Chris, is something wrong? Why did you go to the hospital to see my dad? I mean, I'm sure he appreciated it, but um... Gosh, I'm sorry, Chris. Forget I said anything. Hi, Chris. Is something up? Susie, that's right. You were with Susie. When didn't... When you didn't come back to class, I was worried, but... Everything turned out okay, I think. Um, Chris, can I ask you something, if that's okay? Susie, I'm kind of curious what she's like, you know? I mean, who doesn't wonder about her? She never talks to anyone. So, Chris, could you tell me about her, if that's okay? What? She's a nice person? Really? L like, really? Honestly, truly? I mean, that's just what I was hoping, but... W wait, that isn't another trick, is it, Chris? Like, when you put ketchup on your arms and told me it was blood? Really? You're serious? You're totally serious. Gosh, then maybe I should try talking to her. But if I die, you're paying for my funeral, Chris. Though honestly, if she's nice, I might die too. Welcome home, honey. Did you have fun with your friend today? By the way, I just finished baking a pie. If you go to bed, it will be cool when you wake up. But do not eat all the this time. Alright? Chris, what is it, honey? Remember the video game you and Azura used to play? What was it called? Super Smashing Fighters? Oh, that, 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 uh, dated greatly. Sans is in Smash, technically. In a way. When he was very little, he loved the green lizard from that. We even had a birthday party themed for the, around it. Yoshi! Your father painted all the gut eggs with spots and decoration. Oh, your brother loved it. Until the next day, your father cooked them all for breakfast. Your brother just kept crying ever since he hated the book about eating green eggs. It's a butterscup cinnamon pie, still cooling. The door is locked. It's only you. If you go to bed, this chapter of your adventure will end. You decided to go to bed. Wiggle. Wiggle. <laughs> Delta room. Is this 
some copyright. I don't know. I'll turn it down a little bit. So that was the end of chapter one. And we'll continue on to the chapter two uh, next time. To be continued. Surely will be now. Chris? Chris, honey? Are you awake? W wait. Is that a... A knife? No! Chris, did you eat all the pie? Is that your, your knife in this empty tin? Is it not? Oh, Chris. Am I going to have to lock the oven again? Well, hurry out of bed. It is time for school. It's a bird cage with the bird doors closed. There's no escape. That's what they call you. Doors locked. Well, shall we go? Chris, there you are. Even Susie showed up before you. <laughs> Hey Chris, if I knew you were gonna be late, I would have showed up on. I wouldn't have showed up on time. Susie, please don't kick your desk. Treat school property like you treat people. Okay. Next time I'll aim for the vitals. Th that's not what I. In any case, good morning, class. We have a lot to go over today. First, we're starting to the reading from page 124. Any... any volunteers? Oh um, I... I guess I could read the... Ed, trouble yourself not, Noel. I will valiantly take the blow of humiliation. Um, that's okay, I can... Ahem! <clears throat> page 142. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. Times are pretty good. Times are pretty bad. Mediocre times. Iffy times. So-so times. Listening to this, your eyes begin to close automatically. Have a nice day, everyone. And pl please remember to your project group projects. Oh, um, Chris, are you okay? You were sleeping all class. Don't worry, I'm not mad. I just concerned. Usually you only sleep through the start. Good luck and rest well tonight, okay? Chris? This whole partner thing. You didn't lose sleep over it, did you? Uh, huh, Chris? Um, good, I think. So maybe you were just staying up talking to Azriel online again? Ah, oh, wait. You can't do that, right? I hope your internet gets fixed soon. I don't want to revert to my primal form. Well, look who it is. The school zombie. 
You were sleeping like a corpse all class. <laughs> What's the matter? I had trouble going to Betty Bay last night. <laughs> Me too, Chris. Look, I could sleep after yesterday. Just waiting for today felt like years. Did all that stuff really happen? Lancer, Rousey, everyone, are they still? Look, you've been wondering the same thing, right? Come on already. All right, Chris, this is the moment of truth. Everything we've been waiting for, just beyond this. If we uh, open this and there's nothing inside, we'll, uh, we'll still be... Screw it, let's just open it already. Um, Su Susie? Yeah? Noel, hey. What the hell are you doing here? Um, so sorry to bother you, but um, I, well, I just, Bradley and I were going to the library, so to do some research for our group projects, and if it's okay, um, would you want to come too? Oh, Chris, you can come too, I mean. Uh, I mean, we're like busy with, uh, Chris, help me out here. What do we say? Hanging out in the alone in the closet? Crime. You know, just chilling alone in the closet. Just two friends chilling out in the closet like normal. Touching brooms and stuff. Oh, um, well, er, that sounds, um, just... Have fun, you two. I'll be in the late, Barbie. Chris, if you could bring her by later. It would mean a lot to me. Um, actually, wait. Wait a second. Susie, I, um, I have something for you. Hmm? Okay, see you, bye! It's a lunchbox? Full of chalk. She had chalk the whole time? And she didn't give it to Alfie's? What the hell, Chris? Here, you hold on to it. You got the chalk. Wait, Chris. What the hell is that? Why would Nua ask me to do homework with her? Death wish much? Does she want to fail? Wait a second. Wait a second. Chris, did you notice how nervous she was? And like, blushing and stuff? Chris, you don't think she, uh... She's into secret identities. You know, this dark world stuff. Damn, we gotta keep this under wraps, Chris. This is our thing, you know? Anyway, enough waiting. Alrighty. Wait, let's go. Yeah! Susie, it's been oh, ever so long. Yeah, yeah, it's been, what, a day? Oh, that is short, isn't it? It's just that I've never had friends before, so I've never waited so long to see them again either. Fine, guess we'll try not letting you die the, of loneliness. I bet Lance wants to see us too, right? Hey, wait a sec. Where is Lancer? Where's... where's everybody? Worry not, Susie. You'll see them in a moment. Just wait here, alright? Okay. Hey, this better not be some kind of prank or something. Chris, I have something to ask you. I need you to return to the light world. And go to the old classroom to the east of the closet doors. Inside, gather everything on the ground. And bring it back here, could you? He 
Look upon the castle for the first you first saw yesterday. You are filled with the power of a many immediate nostalgia. <laughs> Alright guys, that's where we're going to call it for today. If you ended up enjoying it, then please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Also make sure to check out the links in the description. One will head you over to my Discord server, the other to the Patreon page. Any donations are desperately needed, and until next time everyone, bye bye